Well, long day of travel. Finally made it with Greg. Hey. We're at the Bright Angel Trailhead where we will hopefully be finishing up Tuesday evening. Spent about four hours on a plane getting to Las Vegas. About another four and a half to five hours driving. So we're hungry, but we had to see this first. Tomorrow's a day of recon. We'll check out the South Rim and the South Kaibab Trailhead as well as Bright Angel, where we're at now. Get a game plan for Tuesday. Get some good rest and then we'll head out uh, bright and early or dark and early. All right, day two at the Grand Canyon. Uh, Greg and I woke up, had a good breakfast at Starbucks. So we're caffeinated. We're gonna do some uh, Grand Canyon recon today and just uh, enjoy the sights, get rested and fueled for big run tomorrow. Right now we're checking out, uh, we're still on the south ram and gonna check out the watchtower area. This is a section we won't be running, but uh, still be able to check out some nice views. I'm not sure the camera can do this justice, but this is amazing. All right, we're at uh, recon spot number two of the Grand Canyon. Views keep getting better and better. Here we have a pretty good view of the Colorado. Pretty amazing to see just how expansive the Grand Canyon is. Colors of rocks and different layers. If you can see the Colorado down there, that section is called the Hans Rapid. And uh, crazy people might run the canyon, but the super crazy try to navigate that rapid. I don't think I'll be trying that anytime soon. What do you think, Greg, on our next trip? Should we, uh, should we try and navigate that rapid? Looks like it's only got a three-story drop, so uh, yeah, it's probably where you and I need to be. Yeah, yeah. It's all about going down that rim to rapid to rim. Yeah. Although, man, wouldn't that be something to raft it? That's definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> like way, way beyond my comfort zone. Okay, made it to the South Kebab Trailhead. It's. Uh, Oh, 10.30. Uh, had to park a little ways away and walk uh, close to half a mile to get to the trailhead. And uh, gonna do a little bit of recon to see what the actual trail looks like. The next time we're here, it'll be three in the morning, pitch black. And uh, so it'd be nice to check it out in the daytime. 
right, Greg, should we hit the trail? Yeah, let's do it. Let's head on down. The recon is happening now. It's going to look quite different in the dark. Or look like nothing at all. So what do you think? Should we fill up here in the morning or should we just be ready to I think let's blaze? Be, I think let's be ready to go. Yeah. I'll pop out of that taxi and start start it. I think you're right. I don't want to think. No messing around. <laughs> be our luck at three o'clock in the morning we drop the uh, slider to the bladder or something, you know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Been there before. Yeah. down must come up. All right, here we are, Lance and Greg, and not sure if you can see us. I bet this is not coming through yeah, at all. About that. Okay, it is dark out here, yes, you can and see. we'll see if you can see any of this sky. It's probably not going to show up, but it is incredible it's a couple minutes to three and we're at the south kaibab trailhead and we're about to see the canyon it is time all right greg's gonna say a prayer with us and uh and then in a minute we'll head down the trail all right here we go the first steps on a long day Well, we might have beaten the mules, but I can smell the, the mule scat. This morning. I'm hoping that as we descend, it won't feel quite as windy. All right, I think that's enough video for the first moments. We're going to get our bearings here get used to this descend and uh, we'll check in maybe closer to the ranch okay doing a check in almost at three miles we're nearing it it's still a beautiful black sky with the stars lit up the first mile descending very rocky uh, some steep declines so I had to pay a lot of attention and faced a couple of wind gusts that were pretty strong so we had to hug tight to the corner and uh, make sure we didn't get blown away at one point my hat flew off my head and somehow it landed right on the ledge I was able to use one of my poles to spear it uh, <laughs> didn't think that, that was gonna make it but it did um, yeah we're just cruising right along we've met one uh, fellow hiker she was kind of doing a, a nice easy jog but boy she made it look much simpler 
than I'm doing right now. Pan up to the sky, see if you can see this. It's pretty beautiful. Okay, we'll check in later. All right, doing another check-in. We just passed uh, at about four and a half miles. What was the name of that stop, Greg? That's a tip-off. Tip-off, and uh, had a little bathroom break, got a little fuel, and uh, now we have these this incredible view. The sun is starting to come up, and uh, jaw dropping. Yeah, you can start to see some of the the water, Colorado River down there, and here is the ridge we'll be running around in just a moment. Nice to have the energy of the sun coming up with us. This will be some of our first uh, slow jogging of the day. It was a pretty technical descent so far, really having to watch our steps, wind gusts in several places. Um, but uh, temperature is pretty nice, actually. Really pleasant, not too hot. Getting in some miles before the sun heats us up in the box. We'll continue our descent here and uh, do another check-in at, uh, at Phantom Ranch. Coming up on the hand bridge across the Colorado. We now are definitely in some daylight, so that feels great. Hop in here, buddy. GoPro and a photo. This is ultimate documentation right here. All right, time to cross the river. Yeah, this is something. Well, getting across the river and over to Phantom was one of our kind of checkpoints, kind of our, what we viewed as step number one. So we're almost there. You can see Phantom just past me. We just finished going through the box and came out of Manzanita, which is kind of the last point before we really start the climb up to the North Rim. Uh, it's been beautiful. Some mental ups and downs, just trying to push through. Uh, got a big climb ahead of us, so we refueled and uh, hopefully that'll hit the system and help out here shortly 
Greg, what do you think so far? What's the experience like? The experience of a lifetime. Night and day. <coughs> uh, excited to be heading to the north rim. It kind of feels mostly in a good way, like we've been out here forever, but <laughs> um, still fairly early in the day. Uh, not even nine o'clock. <laughs> I will probably not check in again until we get to the top of the North Rim and then we'll flip it around. Okay, here we are climbing the North Rim and uh, I don't know, we're maybe halfway up, give or take. Um, made some good progress so far. Greg lifted me out of my emotional doomsday so <laughs> thanks to Greg I think the uh, Nutella wraps also helped but need to give Greg at least a little bit of credit um, our next point coming up will be the Supai tunnel and then it's about 1.7 miles to the top of the North Rim so as you can see it's yeah unbelievable this is what we've been enjoying yeah, I need to take a break from climbing every so often just to soak it in. Greg, you feeling strong? Feeling good. One mile at a time. All right. We'll check in again when we touch the top of the North Rim. All right. We are so close to tagging the North Rim. We have it in our sights. Greg, this was a tough push, buddy. This was a, this was a tough one. We are, uh, to the extent we had an estimated time frame in mind, we're kind of right on target. We're gonna enjoy the top up here for a few minutes. We found out they do have the water on. Greg and I were conserving this whole way up. But the water is on, that is a relief. So we're gonna hydrate, get some food. Head back down. Did it, buddy. Did, Did it. it. Bye, guys. Yeah, you too. We're a couple miles down from the North Rim, uh, making our way, making good progress towards um, towards Phantom Ranch. I picked a really dicey spot to be filming right now. This is the one stretch where there's a little bit of a scramble, you can see. This is uh, the point that takes the most attention. So I'm gonna pause and when I get through this, I'll give another quick report. All right, back at it. I made it through the scramble and uh, Probably should have filmed a little bit earlier, but so that's where we came from, right up there at the top. Nice progression down. It's uh, it's getting hot. Um, not too bad. I imagine when we get back to the box, uh, it will heat up even further. That's where the heat is trapped in the canyon. At some points, it's pretty narrow. Uh, between the walls and that little gap gets really kind of really hot like a sauna but uh, Greg and I were just talking about the south or excuse me the north rim and uh, we've enjoyed it it's uh the path is steep but it's not super technical a uh, little easier to um, go up and down uh, compared to 
uh, when we went down South Kaibab. That was quite technical. Uh, probably took longer to go down than it would to go up. So, to the extent we have a goal at this point, it would be to make it to Phantom Ranch by four, which is when they stop serving lemonade. Um, and we're probably gonna come in just a little bit after that, so we might miss a lemonade, but just another reason to make it back at some other point. Greg's been leading the charge down. He uh, picked up a ton of steam when we took a break at the North Rim. I'm not sure if it's his second wind or third or what. We've stopped counting. Greg, how are you feeling now doing a little check-in? Better. Better? Yeah, that Good. North Rim really brought me back to life. It's Good. cooler. Good people up there. Yeah. Just a great, great lift, the lift we needed. Yeah, a lot of really positive people on the trail. Not um, not a lot of people on the trail, period, but those we've yeah. seen have been uh, very friendly. And we've met a couple of people, only a couple, that are doing rim to rim to rim. So not a big group of us doing that uh, today. All right, we'll keep making our way down and I'll check in later. We are making it through the box. Second time around, it is hot. We are closing in on Phantom Ranch. Phantom Ranch is kind of the, uh, what we would consider the end of the box. And uh, we're looking forward to that for a nice little rest stop. The views are still fantastic. Uh, a couple miles back, we had to work Greg through some stomach issues. It heated up quite rapidly. Uh, you know, it was nice and pleasant at the top of the North Rim. And the descent was pretty nice, but we started gaining in temperature. And then when we got to the bottom of the canyon, we were very exposed. And, you know, it was probably 30 degrees, 40 degrees hotter and uh, no shade. We do have moments of shade now, thankfully, uh, and I think that's helping Greg out. Uh, he did have trouble keeping stuff down, but I think he's making his comeback. There he is, I see Greg's gonna go for food again, so that's a good sign. Lance carried me out from Manzanita down here. Low stretch for me. <laughs> We have seen quite a few more people crossing paths with us. I suspect they're just doing a day hike down and camping at uh, Cottonwood, perhaps. Otherwise, it would be pretty late in the day to start an effort to make it all the way to the North Rim. But, uh, you know, just enjoying the, the views when we're not watching our steps. Yeah, the box uh, at sunset, the dust is pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Uh, a final push to Phantom Ranch. We're gonna regroup, get some more calories, get some more water. And, uh, and then it's approximately 10 miles uh, to the top of the South Rim via Bright Angel. Still a long road ahead of us, but uh, I would say we're mostly enjoying it. And uh, when one of us isn't, the other is reminding us that we should. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to keep it positive and uh, forcing a smile even when we don't want to. We're heading out of Phantom Ranch. We made it in one piece and we have a ways to go, but we're gonna enjoy it. This real quick is Phantom Ranch. 
Here is the little restaurant. This is a backside of where you can eat if you've made reservations where they have a snack bar open until four. We missed it by about an hour. And then they have these cabins you can rent. And uh, that sounds pretty fun to do with the family at some point. So we're tired. Um, gonna try and get in some solid calories between now and dark so that they have a chance to kick in um, <clears throat> for the final push. Uh, from here, we have uh, close to 10 miles, give or take. Who's counting? All right. We keep going. All right, we just left Phantom Ranch, but I'm back. Not for the horses, but for the bridge crossing, going over the Colorado River. Want to make sure that we can see that again. take a look hi hi last pass in the Colorado Yes, and you know, I love it, but I will be glad for the final crossing today. You don't want to go again? Well, I'm not ready. No, I'm definitely not prepared for that. I have busted through so many calories today, and I, I'm still starving. I can't wait to ask him. I think I'm headed for over a 5,000 calorie day. Greg, if he can keep his down, is headed <laughs> for a little more than that. Probably got to subtract about three to 400 from my total. All right, Will and Pete, when you watch this, I want you guys to prep to go through these rapids. You're in charge of navigating the tube. This is beautiful. Our last bit of sun for the day. We have maybe a couple hours of sun left. You bet. All right, we'll check in later. This might be the last check-in until we get to the top. We are, we're losing steam, trying to stay in it. Uh, we have about four miles of climbing to go. Um, just fighting through some exhaustion and fatigue, eating issues with Greg and keeping some, keeping food down. I got a knee that's not happy with me. And I know you probably can't see me, but that's okay. Greg is right behind me. This is a this is a tough endeavor. It's been beautiful. Um we'll check in at the top. And when we're all watching this back, it's gonna seem like a jiffy. But uh probably not gonna feel like a jiffy. Maybe we'll try and trick our minds so it's not so bad. I'm back. <laughs> Barely. Greg and I made it to the one and a half mile rest house. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. I, I would say we've both been through some highs and lows today. And yeah. uh, I can't shake a low. And uh, Lance has been the man. He's been driving us forward without him. Oh. We'd be down probably by Indian Garden still. Yeah. 
Well, when you can't keep when you can't keep food down, when you're working off no calories, that makes it tough. And but you're gutting it out, and uh, we'll get out this last bit, and uh, <coughs> see what's happening on the south rim. I, I'm gonna guess a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> but we got it. I think we're looking at about. We can do this in 45 minutes. Yeah. We can. All right, Greg just put down his second gel in the last little bit. So we're gonna, if that, if that'll sit, that'll make this mile and a half uh, a little easier. I'm sure the uh, gain isn't picking up on the screen, but um, it's just been steady climb, some bigger steps. I think it was a 5,000 foot climb. 5,000 feet from the river. Yeah, it feels like it. After 40 miles. Yeah, that's about right. I just seen it all today. Before I forget to include this on the video, we got confirmation from a couple others who took off from South Kaibab Trail early, early this morning and agreed that at roughly half mile mark, maybe a mile mark, that wind was not typical it uh, pushed us against the edge <laughs> and uh, thankfully greg had the wisdom to tell me i needed to crouch low that was the key and we got past it we'll get past this greg and is right up there buddy it is. I finally see it. Oh, dang it home. Oh. oh, my God, we did it. I feel like that sign is a false flag. <laughs> That's some trickery. Greg, you've uh, soldiered on pretty well this last mile and a half. Taking pretty much everything. Team effort today. Okay, that was definitely a false, false sign. Not that much. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to mark my displeasure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There's some deer. Deer was waiting for us. To bring it home. Hope they weren't waiting on food. We ate through everything. Hey, little guys. Hey, baby. We're harmless and we can't move fast. You made it look yeah. easy. Oh. Got it. Did it. You did it, my man. Not uh, not a walk in the park. It was a walk in the park. No. It was literally a walk in the park. Oh, God, no. That's up there. That's hey. one of the... Uh, nice work. You too, buddy. Strong effort. Glad to do it with you. Likewise. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to... Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to... Head back to the hotel. Yeah. Cheers.